You're the quarry, you jerk. Will, Will. How can just one orbital frame match our armada? Adam Pete here at Tokyo Game Show 2017, and one of the big surprises to come out of the Sony conference this year was Zone of the Enders yeah. in VR. I was tipped off uh, ahead of time by Konami that they had some VR in the works, yeah. and that it was tied to an existing franchise, and of course you think Metal Gear Survive, I guess, sure, or maybe not? Pez, but of all things, Zone of the Enders. So yeah. it's, it's being you know more or less remastered, I think, ported to PlayStation 4. I don't know how much extra work they're putting into it. So that game's gonna be in HD, but you can also play large sections of it in VR, and we did that. I was really excited at first. After playing it, I'm a little concerned. Um, now, <laughs> granted, gr okay, so granted, when you play a demo on a show floor. Yeah, it, dude, it's hard. Yeah. It's, it's hard. I mean, you have to learn the controls on the fly. You only have 10 minutes to play, and so it's very difficult to really get a hang of things. When you add in the fact that VR is involved, and it's a complex game, uh, well, you know, relatively complex for VR, like Zone of the Enders, things get even trickier. The problem was the buttons that I was using didn't seem to have consi they were they weren't consistent. They weren't actually triggering the things they were supposed to. And a lot of this is because the game is contextual, whereas if your mech is like touching the ground, yep, it'll do one thing, right. or if it's floating, it'll do another. But in VR in first person, it's very difficult to get the same sense of you know where your mech is compared to playing it in third person. Yeah. And uh, one of the revelations that kind of surprised me is that Konami is not actually handling most of this game. Oh, really? It is Psy Games. Right. What have Psy Games done lately? Grand Blue Fantasy, which is a mobile hit. Mm -hmm. um, and Psy Games is working on a few other projects. They're essentially trying to work their way into the console space. I'm worried this might be too ambitious of a project yeah. uh, for someone who is kind of cutting their teeth into the console market, especially with VR being especially involved. Especially with VR, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as someone who has you know, played Zone of the Enders like when it came out, was really happy to have the remaster on PS3, Zone of the Enders 2 is a fantastic game. I'm really looking forward to that. Coming to PlayStation 4, I'm very reticent to say that I'm excited for the VR version. <laughs> Uh, from your perspective, what did it look like? Because you were watching me from the sidelines. Look, from my perspective, it looked like you were doing really well. So you were assaulting a ship, um, obviously, in the air, and you were just like taking out a bunch of the turrets and stuff. It looks like you were doing what you were supposed to be doing. But Man. it didn't feel like that? No, not at all. Because <laughs> right. there, were, there were plenty of instances where I would be attacking an enemy and they would have a shield. Right. And I would you know, tell the PR person, look, you're telling me I have to beat this, I don't know how to do it. Like, no, just, just keep trying. I would seemingly just sort of like move my position and come back. It didn't feel like anything was different, but the results were different. Okay. Uh, look, I think this game is really early in development. Absolutely, yeah. I think it's got a long ways to go. Maybe it'll turn itself around. I'm, I'm wary of it, let's put yeah, it that you're way. you're wary of the VR, but like regardless, it'll be nice to play Zone of the Enders. Second runner. Second runner. Yeah. Uh, with the PS4 sort of remastered sort of finish on it. Yes, I'm not worried about the first game anymore. Yeah. That, that's old hat, that's sort of just no washed out. That no. <laughs> but, uh, okay, about Anubis. Yes. So stay tuned for Second Runner, Anubis, Mars, all those things are kind of Zone of the Enders too. And stay tuned to GameSpot for more footage and coverage <laughs> from Tokyo Game Anything. Show. And then whatever you want. Tokyo Game Show 2017. Norman, it's Fingo!